congratulations on this. And Melissa, I have to start with you because, um, you know, fans of the Oval are, are, you know, chomping at the bit that Ruthless is coming at us. And I can imagine that you were probably very excited yourself to be able to take Ruth to the next level. Oh my goodness, you have no idea. Um, I was first approached with this role because I'd, I had an audition for it, but uh, I got a phone call from Tyler Perry with the news that he would like for me to play Ruth and that there would be a spinoff. And I just was like, I, oh my gosh, hi, Tyler Perry. <laughs> like, first, hi, and yes, secondly. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just so excited because I honestly feel like there was an interest when she came on the screen in the Oval, um, obviously with her dramatic exit, taking uh, kidnapping her daughter. But um, this Ruthless is going to bring you into the world of, of Ruth. She's She is taking it upon herself to make sure that she has redeemed herself of her pa from her past. And she feels like getting involved with this underground uh, cult and following the cult leader who plays, excuse me, Matt Cedeno, who plays the highest, is the only way. This is her only way of redemption. So Ruthless is that. It's gonna show you our wonderful compound and um, take you into our lives as the highest in Ruth. Very exciting. Now, Matt, let's, let's just, get into your juicy little role because this has to be, uh, I mean, look, we know you from the soaps and you know, you're great. You're, you're just great. We love you. But this one, Thanks, tell me Maria. about playing the highest. That's really, to me, a very cool opportunity. Yeah, it was super cool. And quite obviously very much a deviation from the things I've done in the past. Um, I mean, this guy's complex. He's layered with psychological issues and, uh, visions of, of grandeur and um, uh, very specific for his people on, on this earth and even the afterlife and you know he's tormented psychologically from his childhood and uh, experiences that he's gone through that has kind of led him to be the, the person that he is today and uh, yeah it was fun to kind of uh, sink my teeth into this guy he was he's, he's complicated yeah I want to know what yeah, for both of you, uh, what kind of research did you end up having to do to kind of dive into this world? Because, I mean, listen, we'll, we'll talk about Tyler Perry in a minute and his writing and everything, but there has to be, I would think, a little bit of an extra preparation to play these types of characters and to dive into this world. For sure. For me, it was, you know, initially it was the, the, the phone call and uh, collaboration with, with Tyler and him giving uh, a very thorough explanation of his his vision of the character and how it was kind of created and things of that sort and he had um, recommended that I you know uh, watch some things and read some other things and so it was kind of a combination of of pulling from these different uh, leaders uh, from the past these cult leaders for me uh, and then just kind of combining that into my own and then as soon as I went through the wardrobe and makeup experience and we created physically what this guy looks like in combination with uh, some of those other elements Voila, the highest. Hmm. Wow. And, and Melissa, how about for you? Um, you know, playing this, this mom who, it, it's frightening. Like, you know, sadly, this kind of stuff can happen in real life. And, and I, you know, I just wanted to know how you kind of prepped to, to play here at this level. Absolutely. It, it is happening. I, I, I listened to so many um, real testimonials on YouTube of women who have, I, I looked for women who have left cults, who are in cults, um, or grew up in cults. I was just interested in the, the, the woman's perspective on it all. And um, so I did that. And then also I was given, you know, um, documentaries from Tyler Perry that I should also watch. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's happening. It is happening. And I just am happy to be a part of a show that's bringing awareness to something that is so covered, I guess. Right. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Now, let's just talk about Tyler Perry, because this man, honestly, I've, I've met him and interviewed him many times. First of all, he's a lovely, lovely guy, but he's just genius. I mean, everything that he touches turns to gold. And now that he's got this amazing studio that he's opened in Atlanta, I mean, it, it's the possibilities are endless. Tell me a little bit about working with this man and what makes him so special. Mm. 
Where to really even begin? I mean, I, I think I, c I could say I feel like what makes Tyler Perry so special is he, I feel like he, he is a very, he's an empath and he goes off of energy and, and it's a feeling for him. So I feel like his heart is always involved in everything that he does. And I, and I can tell that by going on set and just like, just watching, you know, the small things that I notice that he does, uh, knows every, every crew member's name, you know, is praying before we start every, every day he's praying, you know, having everybody join hands and just like making sure we're all on one accord because it is a lot of work that he, he expects us to get done and we get it done. So it's just like, I think he puts his, you can tell that his heart's in everything that, that he does. That's what I think makes him special. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very... Matt, how about for you? Yeah, he's a very unique man, I think. I think he has a, a keen insight into, into humans and, and people, and uh, he, see thing, he sees things in people that they don't even see in themselves. Uh, and he, uh, he, he, he proves that every single day. Like, he really kind of elevates everybody to this level that, you know, we all didn't think that we could get to. Like, exactly. when I was first informed of what things were going to look like with Tyler Perry, I thought it was impossible. I was like, this doesn't happen in production. Uh, show, me, show me the trick or what's going on. These must be four-minute <laughs> episodes that we're about to do. Um, so just the, uh, the, sh the sheer focus and determination and attention to detail and, and people uh, that he's able to exhibit is just, like, unmatched. I've never seen it before. He's incredible. Yeah, how'd you two like working together on, on this level? Some tension, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we, I mean, we had some moments. Yeah, you know, this show is really heavy. <laughs> I think that, like, for, for, for me, Matt was there for me in a way where the words didn't even have to be said. It was more of like, you know, just like, because sometimes all you need is like a friendly touch to just be like, whew, because it's, it's, a, it's already stressful, but also the show is dealing with a lot of heavy material. You just need that check-in. And, and I feel like Matt and I shared a moment um, like that on set when I, whenever I had like this really heavy scene. So was, Yeah, super heavy scene. And it was just like, I know we're acting and all, but I was just like, I'm playing this evil guy. Yeah. And you know, she's going through this horrible experience. And so I just kind of felt like, hey, we're, we're, we're human, I got you. You know what I mean? We're just, you're so immersed in it. Like mm -hmm. he just throws you into this story and you're just living, eating and breathing it pretty much 24 hours a day. There's no time for anything else. So you're, you know, it's almost hard to separate yeah. reality from, yeah. uh, you know, what you're actually doing there and get pretty intense. Well, I'm sure, listen, fa yeah, the well, fans are looking forward to, uh, for jumping into this one. It sounds just fantastic. And uh, congratulations to the two of you. And thank you so much for your time this morning. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie.